Merry Christmas YouTube, it is still a Junkie 07. Um, this is going to be the lip liner and lipstick tutorial for beginners. I am not a pro by any means. Um, I just had a request and so I just kind of ran with it and just figured I would do like a whole little series on um, makeup, eyeshadow, foundation, primer, blush, contour, all that stuff. And I'm looking now to see what lipsticks I'm going to use or whatever. Lip gloss, lipstick, lip liners, that's what I'm going to do in this video. I already did everything else as you can probably see or maybe not, I don't know. If you are looking for very, 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 very inexpensive lip products, check out um, Walgreens, Happy Harry's, whichever is called where you are, and try the Jordana excuse me easy lip liner for lips retractable pencils I love these because it's retractable you can wind them up and you can wind them down because I, I I really do like uh, Makeup Forever's aqua lips these are waterproof I just don't like that you have to sharpen them because I feel like every time I sharpen it I'm losing product and these puppies are like almost twenty dollars so I'm like, I don't want to lose any product by having to sharpen it down but if this here was waterproof, definitely. But even for non-waterproof, it's only like a dollar ninety-nine. Um, <laughs> Jordana, okay, check them out. So the way I line my lips are, I line just inside my lip line because even looking now, my lip line would be up top. If you have small lips and you want your lips to look bigger, then line outside of your lip line. Because I see people with line like all the way out here, and I'm just like, not for me because my lips, I think, are big enough as they are. Um, if you want your lips to look a little smaller, then you line inside your lip line. Me, I kind of just go on the line, a little bit inside the line. That's how I do mine. But whatever way you know you do that you're comfortable doing, that's what you do. And so I always start at the bottom for no particular reason. And I'll do this line right here. And then I'll come up on the side. And that's how I line the bottom. And it's tricky for me when I get around this area because I have lines in my lips. And so it's not smooth going this way when I get to here. And so sometimes I'll go like this just to get it smoother. To get those lines out. So that's how I line the bottom. And to line the top for some strange reason I always start on I'm I'm weird cuz the bottom I start in the middle and the top I start on the side because I have <laughs> as most of us do you have a peak here and a peak here. But my peaks I don't think are even. This one is more peakier, more pointy <laughs> than this side. It looks like I'm sticking it in my nose. I'm really not. But even looking at it, this side is more pointy than this side. Um, but I will start on the side, like where the peak is, and then I'll come down just inside my lip line. And then I'll go back into the peak and come down into the cupid's bow. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. That's how I line my lips. The lipstick I'm using today is Makeup Forever's number 17, Rogue Artist Intense. They, Makeup Forever goes by numbers, not names. It's like a just little golden color. And it's sort of like coloring inside the lines. So you put your lipstick on inside the line of your liner. Or if you want to go on top of the line too, that's fine. The li a lip liner will help prevent your lipstick from feathering. If you've ever worn lipstick, it looks really great. Maybe a couple hours later, you'll look, and if you go like this, you can see little lines coming down. I mean, very subtle. I don't think anybody even really notices. But you'll see little lines coming down that look like little feathers, and so they just call that feathering. A lip liner will help your lipstick stay on your lips and not transfer down. And also what you can do if you want to, when you line your lips, 
you can line them and then fill them in, which will give you a slightly different look to your lipstick. So if you want to change up how this color looks that I'm putting on, then you can completely line your lips and completely fill it in and put the lipstick on top of it. Or you can line your lips, fill them in with the lip liner and then just put gloss over top of it. When you do it that way, when you fill in your lips with a lip pencil, it will help your lipstick to stay on a lot longer than if you just put it on plain like how I'm doing right now. And so you just fill in inside the line. And I do have a tendency to go ahead and go over the um, lip pencil. I don't know why, I just do. You know why I do know why I do that? Because it helps to blend it in, especially if the lip liner is noticeably darker than the lipstick. I mean, if you're into the two-tone thing, that's fine. I'm not really into the two-tone thing. And see how this peak is up higher. So to fix that, what you can do if you want to fix it or not, it doesn't really matter too much is you can take a Q-tip and just take it away. And also, you can put a gloss over your lipstick if you want to. You don't have to. But for this video, I am going to do that. It's my phone. I'm going to take Jordana's Pretty Shine Lip Gloss 199. Check them out. <laughs> and I will dab it because if I just brush it across, I may possibly be taking off some of my lipstick and so I'll do it this way first just to get the gloss all over and then I'll go back and add more that way and so Miss Sydney I hope this series was helpful to you I hope it was helpful to others um, I apologize that some of the videos were really long and I see this one is almost eight minutes already but I really just wanted and you can use a q-tip to kind of clean up around your lips or if you want to put a more defined little cupid's bow you could do that um, I really just wanted you wanted you to be able to see what I was doing and and hopefully I explained everything really well thank you bye